What are we expecting to see today from the protesters and, of course, a reaction from the military? Yes, hello. Uh, well, Myanmar's anti-military protesters plan to hold their largest mass rally yet today after uh, two demonstrators were shot dead over the weekend. Uh, sh shops and businesses are expected to close in solidarity with uh, one of the largest uh, supermarket uh, chains to close all of its outlets. Um, the violent crackdown has, has come uh, for, is a horrible situation for the economy, uh, which is already quite troubled. Uh, nearly all private bank branches have closed, and there's uh, worries about cash flow in a country that that is um, that depends on in hand money. So, um, you know, the military has shown no signs of of uh, slowing or uh, of, of retracting the way that is currently conducting itself. So, um, there there are fears that the situation could continue to worsen. And how about the international reaction, um, you know, to, to these fatalities? Is it, is it firing things up? And how has Myanmar responded? Yeah, as, as I mentioned, you know, two, there were two fatalities over the weekend, um, two uh, peacefully protester, uh, two protesters who were, who were marching peacefully in, in Mandalay, and that has already uh, drawn sharp international reaction. Uh, Singapore, as one of the biggest investors of Myanmar, had just over the weekend called the use of lethal force against unarmed civilians inexcusable, while Germany condemned the violence and called on the military to pave the way for the return of democratic process. Uh, the UN's uh, country team in Myanmar, meanwhile, expressed profound concern over the violence, saying that it would, that it must stop, and the fundamental right of peaceful assembly must be respected. Uh, at the same time, you know, we've seen Myanmar now just responding to these international criticisms, with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs responding on Sunday night with a statement of its own, warning democratic, uh, dem uh, diplomatic missions uh, not to interfere in its internal affairs amid what it calls, quote, unlawful demonstrations and statements of unrest and violence from protesters. Philip, beyond the denouncing that we've uh, heard and that you've just gone through, what more can foreign governments do to put pressure on the military government? We've seen uh, sanctions from the UK and Canada. Do we expect more sanctions to be on the way? It's, yes, yeah, from the United States, they have already uh, employed some sanctions against uh, military top leaders, including uh, the Army Chief Min Aung Hlaing. Um, that was just the first round of sanctions that we could see. There's been a big debate whether uh, sanctions, uh, broad sanctions, could work in the country, uh, in the country, or whether that would have a huge impact on the population, which it could. Um, so there are there is some caution there, and, and and there's discussion, especially among observers, about whether targeted sanctions might be the way to do it. Um, of course, there are countries like Singapore and, and uh, China. And um, in other Asian countries that have huge um, financial stakes in Myanmar, and while the military maintains a huge grasp on uh, economic activity in Myanmar, there could be further sanctions uh, or withdrawal of investment from economic projects there.